Hi, I'm Jay. And I'm Lisa. And in this video, you're going to hear and see references to the JLT oil separator. Well, we're excited to announce that as of December 2021, all JLT oil separators will now be J and L oil separators. Same great product with a different name. Thank you for your purchase. I'm going to walk you through the install of the JLT oil separator on your 3.4 liter Toyota Tacoma and 4Runner, including the JLT oil separator kit, its two hoses, the separator, mounting bracket, mounting screws, mounting bolt, and two hose clamps. Tools needed for installation is a 10 millimeter socket ratchet and extension, Phillips head screwdriver, quarter inch nut driver or flathead screwdriver, and light oil. Let's get started. I'm going to remove this PCV line here. This foam block covers this connection on the intake manifold. You're going to pull that up, remove the line by just pulling down, and then at the PCV valve, Wiggle the line off. Should come right off. Next step, we're going to go ahead and mount the bracket to the separator, the two fine thread screws. Grab your mounting bolt. And on this truck, this is a two wheel drive truck. This hole is empty. On some models, there's actually a diagnostic port. If you have that, just remove that 10 millimeter bolt and then mount this bracket behind the OEM bracket and reinstall the bolt. You can also use the bolt that we supply. Get that in there and grab your ratchet. Snug that up. All right, with your kit, you have two different length hoses, so grab the shorter hose, pre install your hose clamp, and then you're going to run this under the spark plug wires along the intake manifold, and this is going to go to your PCV valve. Get your clamp slid up. PCV valve is plastic, so don't over tighten this clamp. It only needs to be tight enough to seal air. And grab your oil and lubricate your hose end to install onto the fitting closest to the intake manifold. Next, grab your other hose. Pre-install the hose clamp on that, route it the same way. And this is going to run to your intake manifold fitting. Nice and tight. And this is going to go to your other side of the can. Now this foam block that we removed earlier off of the PCV connection at the manifold, you can trim this out with a razor to clear that clamp if you would like. An alternative option is just to leave it off. So it doesn't serve really any purpose. That's it.